Today I'm riding in St. George, Utah, and I'm at the lookout at the, at the top of the barrel trail. And it's a very scenic spot up here. So let me show you the view from up here. So over there is the town of St. George. And uh, over here is the end of the Zen Trail. And down here you can see a, rib a ribbon of trails that is the Bear Claw Poppy region. And way over here, the end over there is suicidal tendencies. So the suicidal tendencies there and the Zen Trail there are bucket list type of trails if you're in the region here. So the Barrel Trail is what I would call a feature dense trail. And what I find is sometimes with the GoPro on your chest, you can't really see it all that well. So today I'm gonna mount my camera on the trail and ride past to or from the camera. So anyway, let's go do it. A couple of years ago, I rode the Barrow Trail for the first time. I discovered that it had many very interesting features to ride. A long, steep rock roll that they call the waterfall, a number of progressively large jumps, a couple of sizable gap jumps, and a few short but even more steep rock rolls, and a finish with a very steep gap jump. I sessioned a number of these features and was able to ride most of them but I made a mental note to return in the future to re-attempt some of these harder features. When I rode it for the first time, I was also passed by a group of boys. They were probably about 10 to 12 years old. They rode all these hard features without even hesitating. For me, that was a bit embarrassing, but it's one thing to ride these trails dozens of times in order to learn how to ride these challenging features as your skill progresses. But it's another thing to ride them for the first time without knowledge of which lines to choose, or what speed to hit the jumps, and without someone knowledgeable to tow you in. I don't usually ride bike parks or jump lines very often, so for me, big jumps are my biggest fear and weakness. First time I rode this trail, it was a great accomplishment just to clear a gap jump of about 10 feet. Check that out. but there was also a second gap jump that was higher and longer, which I bailed out on. So this time I wanted to see if I could ride it. Oh, there you go. There's two landings. There's a shorter one. Right there. That's probably landable. Not for me, not today though. And after carefully scoping out the feature, I was able to ride it on my first attempt. There's also a couple of very steep roll downs on some optional lines. But lower down the famous finish from a steep leap off a ledge was still too scary. Last time I had a good look at it but decided to bail out. Oh look at that one. It's a nice drop. The landing is very short. And if you take it too long, you can get that flat spot and you'd be in trouble. So it looks like you really only just barely need to roll that baby. But not today for me. And even now it still looks scary, but I'm getting there and maybe it's something to reconsider on a future attempt. Well, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.